Electrodiagnostics or nerve conduction study in electromyography or EMG is a outpatient diagnostic nerve test. So the nerve is testing the peripheral nerve, which is the nerve from the spinal cord down into the arm or the leg. It's checking the speed of the nerve, the strength of the nerve, and if that signal is present or absent. Often in our orthopedic practice, we're seeing patients refer to me for things like carpal tunnel syndrome, which is a pinched nerve in the wrist, cubital tunnel syndrome, which is a pinched nerve in the elbow, or radiculopathy, which is a pinched nerve root in the neck. An EMG typically takes 30 to 60 minutes. It's done in the clinic. Uh, I have my patients come and wear comfortable athletic clothing. The nerve conduction test is similar to an EKG. There'll be stickers or leads that are placed on either the arm or the leg, and a small impulse will be applied to the nerve to check the speed and strength of it. That'll be the first half of the test. Once that's completed, we'll move on to the EMG or electromyography. This part will take a small pin or needle and insert it into the muscle to better understand the electrical activity between the nerve and muscle. The whole test takes about 30 to 60 minutes. The EMG is a little bit uncomfortable, but oftentimes by the end of the study, my patients tell me that it was a lot better than they thought. Typically, I discuss the test results with the patient that day. There are some complex cases where I may ask for a few days to review them to discuss them further. Um, but often same day. So at the end of the test, I type up a full report and send it to the referring physician so they can read and review the results with the patient and determine their next steps for treatment.